This program contains true stories of rescues. It's First Aid with Kelly Kincaid. Hello and welcome to First Aid with Kelly Kincaid. I'm Kelly Kincaid, your host. And, you know, this is a special topic for me today because in the month of February, which is my favorite month because it's my birthday month, and it is also American Heart Month. And I want to welcome my guest today so we can talk about the heart because it is important. You know, without your heart pumping, you ain't living. My guest today are Coach Jesse, who is a nutritionist and founder of the detoxnow.com. And we have Takesha White, who is the campaign managing consultant for the Release the Pressure. Welcome to the show, ladies. How are you all doing today? Fantastic. Thank you for having us. So excited about this conversation. Yes. Yeah, so February is American Heart Month. Let's talk about why is there a concentration to talk about heart awareness? And let's start with you, Takesha. So the heart awareness was really coming from the Release the Pressure campaign. And the campaign in itself was designed to support Black women in preventing heart health issues in their life. So the campaign is actually birthed out of a coalition that was formed by the American Medical Association, the American Heart Association, the Minority Health Institute, the National Medical Association, and the Association for Black Cardiologists, and uh, the American Medical Association Foundation. This coalition came together to, dis to discuss uh, heart health within black within the black community, particularly as it impacts black women, but then also to create a movement that nurtures relationship within black women, so that it's not just self care, but it's also squad care. So once we launched this campaign, we decided to leverage the activities that happen each month. And of course, American Heart Association always do, does, you know, go red day, wear red day, right. and consistently promotes heart health. And so we wanted to connect with that and do a special event that helped to promote love and help to promote self-care as love. And so we like, you know, pinned ourselves to Galentine's Day and created an amazing event to promote the focus of heart health, but also self-love and self-care. Right. And Jesse, you know, you, you're the Detox Now program is an amazing program. You have people you. like Angela Yee and Ashanti and the list goes on of who's jumping on board for the detox. What mm -hmm. made you want to partner with the Release the Pressure campaign? I love that question. So, you know, when I was here last time, we talked about fibroids, me being a survivor turned nutritionist and health coach. And here's the deal. We talked about the fact that why Black women are disproportionately affected by fibroids is because of the stress caused by the trauma of racism, right? Yeah. So let's heart, like hone in on that because that's a big piece because I'm sure it's no surprise to you that the connect, there is a connection between yeah. fibroids and heart disease and that is the stress, right? right. So when we look at the stats, nearly 50%, you know, number one, let's start off with the fact that um, heart disease is the number one killer of Black women. All right. And 50% of black women over age of 20 have heart disease. High blood pressure puts us at an increased heart um, rate for the heart disease. And black women suffer high blood pressure nearly 40% more than white women in the U.S. So now let's connect those dots. You've got stress, right? It stress produces in our bodies hormones like adrenaline, which trigger our um, cortisol and fight or flight response, right? And then this natural fear-based response can make our hearts temporarily beat faster and work harder. And right. when our hearts beat faster and harder, our blood vessels become more narrow, which can lead to high blood pressure. So for me, I told Takesha, the minute she called me about this, I was like, this is critical because we're attacking a root issue. Remember when, when I talked about fibroids being triggered by stress, diet, and chemical pollutants because those things trigger the hormonal imbalance that is called estrogen dominance, right? right but right. when we look at, okay, what is gonna help the women? The very number one thing is the stress. So release the pressure is about helping women to create intentionally create self-care as the foundation of 
the way they, you know, in our Galentine's Day program, we focused on what love, work, and wellness and self-care at the root and the foundation of that. So for me, it was like, look, let, that's a big rock. That's how we're going to help women to, because you could eat right, Kelly. Yeah. You could take the supplements. You could sleep. But if you're not dealing with your stress properly, you know what that means? It's going to undermine everything. You know, I, I talked to you when I was here before how my fibroids tripled in size when it was a stressful period in my life. It wasn't because my food changed. It wasn't because my environment changed. It was because of the stress. So I love what the coalition is doing and the campaign is doing because it helps specifically to attack that very big thing that is affecting when we look at the COVID implications, right? The trauma of racism and the stress it produces in us made us disproportionately more at risk, right? Yeah. Same thing. You know, Takesha, I, I feel, you know, we're just now meeting, but I feel the word dynamic comes you exude dynamic woman. yeah yeah you know, and I think, yeah. you know women we are we all are dynamic but what drew you to this this program like releasing because as women and as black women we do have a lot of pressure what was it about this campaign that made you want to be a part of and then attach your name to it um, first of all it's black on black on black on black which right. <laughs> to me is so right. exciting That's so right. centering black women it was unapologetically about Black women, yes. supporting and lifting up Black women and recognizing that Black women carry a disproportionate burden of community, a disproportionate burden of, of um, socioeconomic uh, status and mobility wow. and pressures that require uh, code switching and that result in weathering and that result in heartbreak and broken families and the disappearing of our young men and the disappearing of our husbands and fathers through the mass incarceration and all kinds of other things, right? And so when I was talking with the uh, creator and the, insp the, the inspiration of Release the Pressure, um, Vice President of Communications and Product Strategy, um, Ms. Stephanie Johnson, she talked about how she wanted to break this cycle within her family because she had recently lost her mother and her sister to heart health conditions. And we were talking about how it is a result of systemic stru and structural racism. Thank and you. so knowing your high blood pressure numbers and understanding what components in society create high, high blood pressure is mm -hmm. really an act of resistance. Yes. So it is like that Audre Lorde quote that talks about how self-love and centering yourself is an act of warfare, is an act of political warfare. And so I was down for it because I could see how one, we would be together, we would be in community. It's a group of black women leading this, Dr. Aletha Maybank, the, the leader of the Center for Health Equity at the American Medical Association and Stephanie Johnson, these two black women spearheading heading as pillars this, this uh, campaign and opening up an equitable process to include physicians of color, to include mm -hmm. marketers of colors, content creators of colors, influencers of colors, nutritionists all across the board. I was like, there is nothing else I want to be a part of right now in terms of health <laughs> yeah. camp. And so it's that's important. why I came into this space because they were willing to name racism as a root cause for, for health inequity. And on top of that, center how black women deserve to have self-care as an act of resistance and name self-care as self-love and you know, equipped with resources great. too yeah that was a big deal too because Absolutely. you can feel you can be oh yeah that's the issue but then put the dollars around it like you know this event we just had this weekend which is yes. available for replay at release the pressure.org i'm okay. so excited <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it was not your typical, it was a Galentine's Day national, I'm gonna get it right, vi national virtual vision board party, All right, Kelly? Break this wellness vision board down because a lot of people attempt to do it because a lot of people think, okay, let me just get a whole bunch of magazines and some scissors right. and just paste some stuff on here. But a wellness vision board, paint yeah. the picture for people who may have never done a vision board or this themed vision board, what did you guys do? Well, so, okay, well, do you want to go first or me? <laughs> I just want to just offer one thing. So yes. one of it was that the vision board work is one of our signature contributions through the website of releasethepressure.org. Okay. And what was happening was it was the most highly engaged resource that we had. So even though we just refreshed our website and folks were just drawn to this vision board resource and they were creating squads and coming together in groups to create a vision board. And so when I had the idea, like how can we, 
you know, around the, along the lines of self-love, how can we celebrate Galentine to get us to get, get our girls together and talk love, talk life, talk what's next. Right. Um, vision boarding came forth through a, uh, a colleague of mine, Crystal Edwards. She was like, we should do a vision board party. And then the visionary of my dreams is coach Jesse. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> there is no visionary, no powerful, wonderful, wellness packed woman like coach Jesse. She is the perfect woman to host the, to host the vision board party. And when we got together, it was sparks flying. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> really? Yeah. So break it down to me. Where, yeah, so, and okay, this was, so, this was all virtual. Everyone all zoomed in virtual. or, okay all virtual and it wasn't through zoom it was through another platform but it was all virtual uh -huh. okay and so this was not your typical vision board party where you know the success is our focus right right because yeah, that's really you know like okay what is it what is success going to be like in your life but this was all about self-care as we said as a form of resistance against the pressure of a life that is like a pressure cooker kelly you know, that's why I keep saying a life is like a pressure cooker, especially for a black woman. And, but it's a pressure cooker that doesn't have a release valve. And because when something doesn't have a release valve, think about the pressure cooker without the release valve, it would explode. It would actually be a weapon. It would be, it would, it would cause, you know, actual danger. It would cause actual damage. Right. So our purpose was to inspire and empower girlfriends literally all around the world. I didn't tell you, but I had a girlfriend from London on, she told me about, oh, it wow. was so phenomenal. <laughs> and, and I thought, you know, so it was really international, right? And really to inspire them with girl chats, with workshops specifically around the major areas of life that were love, work, and wellness, right? And then now looking at each of those areas, it was about how does self-care become a differentiating strategy for sustain sustainable success? And that was so huge, Kelly, because usually we think about it as, how am I going to um, be successful in this area, right? Yeah. But don't think, okay, wait a minute. If I don't build self-love and self-care, excuse me, as the foundation for my pursuit in that area, then I'm not, it's not gonna be sustainable what I achieve. So that's what we really focused on. And the workshop, we've had like three workshops, which were in those areas in between with, um, in fact, we had Angela Yee was, um, was our celebrity guest and she was, oh, she was so, so um, transparent and, and just authentic. And one of the things she shared, which was so powerful was when she talked about was the question I think was, you know, what does self-care look like? Well, one of the things you do for self-care? And she said, well, one of the things I love to do is when I feel down is to help someone else, right? And that was really powerful because, you know, when you help someone else, it makes you feel more empowered, right? And then she said, like checking on your friends, that's a really important thing to do. But then she said, but you know, what? when you check on your friends, don't just check on how they're doing, actually tell them how you're doing. And that really took, it really took away that imposter syndrome of feeling like black women feeling like we have to be super women, right? Because we're always carrying that. And we have to say, no, you know what? That is killing us. That is actually is suffocating us. And we have to turn around and say, no, you know what? I'm human, I'm real, I'm a yeah. person and I deserve care. I deserve that care. We do so much and forget about ourselves, you know? And this mm -hmm. was the first one, correct? Yes. Yes, this was the inaugural. Inaugural. National virtual. And we coming back, baby, because this was well, that's like- the question, because I need amazing. to get in on it. I need to get on it. it and was other amazing. people need to get on it. Yeah. Absolutely. And the, the centering of visioneering and allowing us to be, really be reflective around how we set our vision and be honest about the things that we desired and give permission to one another to put those things forward on a vision board, make the vision plain so that when they look at it, they can run and believe in ourselves and believe in the value of ourselves was a part of every single conversation. Each panel un, like unpacked from within themselves, what are the things that they had to overcome in order to, play, to put self-care and self-love in the middle of their lives? Like what were some of the challenges, the mental and emotional barriers that they had to interact with and overcome in order to see themselves as valuable enough to even practice self-care and self-love? And so these conversations were consistently like, ooh, they were turning and turning you. And over. then there were the tips, right? Like share what you shared about the intentions yeah. and goal setting. 
and the right, bacon. right. <laughs> so was I was so good. It was so yummy. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, can I you mean, please share anonymously of uh, some of the things that people <laughs> discovered about themselves and some tips? Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. So one of the things that was coming up that I brought forth is that the mind is the most powerful tool on earth, and each one of us not only do we all have a mind, but then we have our very own uniquely designed and purposeful mind that brings forth something that no one else can bring forth. And so understanding that the tool that the mind used in order to deliver and manifest things in the world is the intention. And so the intention serves like if our mind was a highway, the intention would be billboards that consistently tell you to do this thing. You're going in the right direction. You are valuable. You are enough. You are successful. You will create the thing that you set forth to create in your mind and it will be accomplished with excellence. So the intention is the one that keeps you going and keeps it moving for you but not only does it stay, is it for you but when you leave a billboard the billboard stays yeah. so the billboard can continue to do work for the community it can do work for your family it can do work for your friends that's how powerful the mind is when you put forth something into the world from your mind it can do work in other lives not just your own life and so that's what we brought forth around the intention and then in order to continue to bring life to your intention all you need to do is create mindful moments. And what did you call our mindful moments, Coach Desi? Oh, yes. I called it the release breath. The release breath. We have to do it together, Kelly. Okay. You know, like I'm living vicariously through you all but because I was, I did not attend this one, but I will be on the next one. So please bring me in. And you can catch the replay. Remember the replay yeah. Oh, yeah. is okay. on the website. The replay yes, is on the yes, website. Yes. Um, release. Oh, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to demonstrate for you right okay. now. Okay. Yes. So. Think about this, all right? Number one, I'm gonna tell you how to do it and then we'll do it together. Okay. So I called it the release breath because when we when we breathe in a lot of times, it's shallow breath. It's mm -hmm. throughout the day, we're just, right? And then we find ourselves, there's tension, there's gritting of the teeth, there's tension in the, in the body. And we don't realize that what we're doing is the pressure is building up when we do that. The pressure is building up. And I bet you, if you check your, high blood, your pressure at that time, it's elevated. Why? because you're, you're holding that pressure in, right? right? So the release breath is so powerful because you count in for the count of four and then you hold it for four. And then you think about like, as if you had a release valve at the top of your head, sort of like the whale has the blowhole, but like yes. a, the, a release valve at the top of your head and you're, you're blowing, you're exhaling the air out of the top of your head, okay? Okay, okay. I tell, so we're gonna do it now together so you can see okay. what it feels like, okay? okay? We're gonna breathe in for four. And then exhale. Ooh, I'm glad she's right. playing bubbles out, you know. Of my <laughs> <laughs> that feels so good. It does. Do you feel that? It does. Do you feel that? Now think about that, right? What I love, Takesha shared about how if we will stop, I call it the stop, the breathe, and exhale throughout the day, every two hours or so, check in with yourself. This is something that is free, you, you literally. If we will just implement by, before we do something, we stop and we take, do some deep breathing, how it will reset our perspective. It will give us, um, allow us to connect with our higher self, our best self in terms of our best thinking, right? It will allow us to say a prayer. It will allow us to not snap off. Like to, when you were saying, we'll be better partners. We'll be better moms. We'll be better. What did you say? <laughs> exactly. I was just saying, if you take a breath before you eat, right before you eat, you will digest your food better. Right? Yeah. If you take a breath before you communicate with your children, you will be kinder and be able to communicate <laughs> with your children better. Right, right. And if your partner is getting on your last <laughs> and you take a breath, you will be able to communicate with your partner better. <laughs> so that's so what we were talking breathe. about. Breathe. Yes. You know, what yes. I find that's interesting important. on the campaign, um, on re release the pressure website, um, you had a stat of nearly 80% of Black adults who have high blood pressure don't have it under control. I'm mm. one of those people, you mm. know, and... I am, you know, I have, I have my Fitbit on now. And um, I think for me, if I had, if I was, well, when I participate in the wellness uh, board, one of the words I would put in is dedication. Mm. 
mm. and being dedicated to myself because every day my goal is getting that those 10,000 steps because American Heart mm. Association uh, American Heart Association says 10,000 steps a day is really good for your heart. And mm. how I've had to get it to click in for myself was if I don't dedicate myself to if I don't dedicate me to me, how can I expect others to want to dedicate to myself? And so it, when, and I did that, I was on the uh, Stairmaster do, um, walking and it was like this light bulb, like, yes, I got to dedicate myself to my life. I want to live long. And so yeah. I really, every day when I get up, it's that dedicated. You got you to commit to yourself, Kelly. You got to commit to yourself. And I guess for me, what are some tips that you can tell someone watching this now, some woman, some black woman, to keep moving, to keep pushing? I want to, you know, the one of the things that comes up for me is we had Jewel Bush on our panel, and she's the chief of external affairs for Girl Trek. This year, Girl Trek hit a major milestone of over 1 million members, 1 million Black women wow. partnering with Girl Trek to just take steps around their neighborhood, 30 minutes, 20 minutes a day, every day, just go outside and go for a walk. Yeah. Now, the thing that is so amazing about this concept of our dedicate that you brought forth is the language, the word dedicate, right? And so when we think about dedication, sometimes we think about commitment, discipline. But then there's another one, which is like, this song is dedicated, yes. <laughs> right? Yes. When you yes. think about honoring, valuing, mm -hmm. lifting someone up. And so if you think about when you are about to come outside into your community, if you're a Girl Trek member, you're gonna be dedicating this walk to the black women like they have done that have walked thousands of miles across the United States in acts of resistance or dedicate this to your mother or dedicate this to your to your nieces and your children and your family, but dedicate it in a way of honoring, lifting up and paying homage in love. And so you're not in a space where you're starting a conversation with yourself every morning that's about discipline and what you are or are not doing but you're starting a conversation that's about legacy and bringing life forward and loving yourself so that it could be a dedication in a way that you're like you know what I'm gonna dedicate my walk today to myself right my fabulous self <laughs> I'm gonna dedicate my walk today to my bestie I'm gonna dedicate you know and you're bringing yourself forward in this forwarding way that is exuberant that is filled with life and love and so I think about that when I think about Girl Trek because they dedicate their walks to the many black women of, who have marched and done civil rights work across the country, but they also, and across history, and they dedicate it to, their, to the mothers and women within the community who are living their best lives to prevent heart health and to encourage you know, healthy lifestyles. So I would say the same thing for you in that word dedicate, if you reframe and you read yeah. that word, you own it differently. Yes. And so it doesn't feel like discipline, but it's it feels like love and legacy and long lasting life. I love That's it. That's so powerful. That's Coach so Jesse, I wanted, I wanted you to add to this because um, yes, stress yes. is something that you really talk about. What are some tips for uh, black women as far as getting rid of the stress and releasing the pressure? So um, I also wanted to tack on to what I'm going to say that and I'm going to tag on to something Takesha said is that Sometimes also people feel like I don't have time to walk outside the house. There are also in-home in -home walking programs. You can literally walk on, like do, uh, there's some things all over YouTube. There's it this is. woman named Leslie Sansone that's got a million walkers. That's like me. <laughs> seriously, you can walk literally at home. And, and what it does, again, the cardiovascular health, it, it helps you, um, you know, move, um, trigger your lymphatic system so that you're helping to, you know, really uh, boost your immunity and, your body's detoxing itself. So those are all very powerful. And, uh, and the only reason I wanted to tag on that is because some people feel like, well, I don't have time to go outside or maybe it's nasty outside. And I want you to know, you can walk right at home. You can walk right in your living room, in your bedroom, whatever it is. And it still is gonna give you that feel because I love that dedicate piece. That dedicated, yeah. I, I, I dedicate this to me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm cherishing, there's a cherish piece to that. There's a care piece to that, a loving piece to that, that is, wow, you know what, it's lifting me up and it's drawing me to do something that is loving for myself. Absolutely. And then it's, it's interesting, you know, Takesha and I actually 
we partnered and created this um, free challenge called my Detox Living Challenge, right? Okay. It's the Detox Living Challenge and it's free on the website at thedetoxnow.com. And it specifically is about three daily steps to detox your thinking and your eating because those, two, those are two of the most powerful sources of stress, okay? Because what we think about determines how we're feeling emotionally, right? What is it? T is, is thoughts, emotions, and actions is a, a whole acronym. And, and I'll, I'll toss it over to Takesha to break that down. But we have affirmations in it specifically. And it's really about changing your morning routine. Okay. And it's very simple because people say, well, I want to start eating healthy. I was like, just change this one meal. It's the one meal, a morning, a first meal of the day. It's a very simple thing to do. And you can switch it up. It's very easy. It's a detox living protein smoothie or cereal bowl. And it's your ginger tea in the morning with these affirmations. So it's those three daily steps. And when I tell you the testimonies that I've received from that, Kelly, have been so phenomenal. Like, oh my God, I'm on the next step. Now I'm doing one of your detoxes. Right. Or now I'm, I've seen that, oh my goodness, my cycle has changed. I'm feeling better about myself. Why? Because you just dedicated that time. Those th three simple steps right. to, uh, to help you now care for yourself in a very very, very manageable, simple way, right? And when I, what I love with that is because what we eat, remember the, it can cause inflammation of our neurotransmitters, which affects our moods. So those two things, the food affects your mood and your mood affects the food, <laughs> the, the way you eat it, right? <laughs> yeah. So uh -huh. that's why it's important to change your thinking as well as your eating, but in manageable ways. And if I could offer that because the breathing is very important. I, I highly recommend as that's a major tip because one of the things I say to all of my clients is that we have to learn to live from a place of rest. And living to learn from a place of rest means I am enough. I am fearfully and wonderfully made and I'm created amazing. And I remember we've been carrying this whole thing that we're not enough because we're trying to prove that we're enough on the job. We're trying to prove that we're enough all the time in our, you know, in the, in the, in the, 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 the definitions of beauty that are out there and, and everywhere we turn, it's like, we have to prove that we're enough. So what happens when you're trying to prove that you're enough all the time, you actually start to feel that you have to prove it even to yourself. Right. So there's a, there's a negative feedback that happens there. Even if you have a very positive view of yourself, the very fact that you're engaged in proving that you are enough, it affects, it, it internalizes now, it's toxic and it internalizing a, a, a resentment and a self, a self loathing that you may not even be aware of, right? Yeah. So we have to turn around turn that around and now affirm who we are, affirm who we are over and over and love on ourselves to understand that, you know what, my rest is in the fact that I am everything I need to be, I am enough, I am growing every day I'm improving every day. I'm, I'm working on myself, but I don't need to do anything more to be worthy of love, to be worthy of acceptance. If I had, worthy. I'm going to use my fingers. <laughs> right? Yes. I'm over here like yes. in it. I was starting to <laughs> We low. That was beautiful. And it all mm -hmm. starts with love because this journey is an everyday the heart. journey. Yeah. Yeah. It starts right. with your heart. It starts with love in the heart. Uh, what what can we expect on the horizon? Because I know that February is not just the only month that you all are going to be doing things. What's down the line? Look, when, when the world opens up, what is going on with the release, the pressure, the detoxnow.com? What will we look forward to? Well, Release the Pressure campaign is moving into year two of year of the three-year strategy. Okay. And for year two, we're talking to corporations. We're coming to companies and we're coming to cities. And we're asking these corporations to think about how they can work to release the pressure on their Black women, their Black employees, how they can use worksite wellness to support health life vitality within the black community and within their black uh within for their black employees and so we will be having any um an employee resource group summit by invitation to support these organizations to think about 
how can we put accountability into an index that is visible for everyone to see that these companies are not just talking racial equity or they're not just talking about health, but they're actually operationalizing strategies that are designed by and with the, imp the influence and the information from their black employees. So we are gonna be doing that summit, our first summit around that work in March. And not only are we doing that in March, but March <laughs> is also Women's History Month. So yes. we are going to be focusing on women makers and so we're going to be looking to interact with women creatives um, around art that supports and inspires wellness in the black community and we'll really be working to give back to black artists and encourage black artists to continue to be makers make beautiful visual fine art one of the artists that was on our panel for the national virtual vision board party is krista david and she has this mantra that fine art is for everyone and she creates art and she creates color collages and all kinds of beautiful paintings. And she puts forth this message that yes, even though she transitioned her life from being a, a public health epidemiologist to being an artist, she says that at any point in your life that you want to dive into being a creative, dive into being an artist, you can as a collector, as one who is a maker, as one who is a part of the community. And so this month of Women History Month, we're going to be coining it as Women Making History. <laughs> and we're going to be engaging artists to do this work. And we'll be working with Coach Jesse as she talks more about well in the corporate landscape and how can you know, people this, stay up for updates oh, where, where can people go for to keep, be updated on everything that you all are doing oh ah, release the pressure.org everything okay. is there follow us on rt pressure on ig or facebook and come to the release the pressure take a when you take the pledge when you take the heart health pledge on the on the website for release the pressure.org you enter into a nurturing cycle where you get resources you get information you get access to challenges you're connected to community and you under you get um invitations to all of our events that are going to be going on over the next few months so definitely go and go to release the pressure.org Take the pledge Take so that we pledge. know who you are. We know where you are in your journey around heart health and we can nurture you and your decision to be more informed around heart health and live a healthier life. Beautiful. Coach Jesse, de yes. detoxnow.com. So, What's so coming up? I, I've, I've, I've already made myself an, an official member of the Relief right. Pressure campaign. <laughs> they already know that, right? So the other thing I think is awesome is if you are part of an ERG and you know, you, I want you to know that you can require more accountability, more care. Like, I love that whole campaign because we are suffering in the workplace and providing that, that opportunity to say, no, look, we need to create another lens. Yes, there is about the racial equity and, and, and every, attacking that, but what does that look like in terms of caring for the person and them helping creating an environment where wellness is actually um, put forth? So, so we actually have great big news at the detox now. And I realize I haven't actually made this announcement in the media yet. So I guess Kelly, you get the scoop. Okay, we, <laughs> we're all here for it. <laughs> which, is that, which is that actually we just relaunched the website with a new partnership. Um, last time I was there, I was there with two doctors and my partnership now going forward is actually with Dr. Amun, who is one of the doctors there. We partnered specifically exclusively and relaunched together because, you know, we were really um, impacted by this pandemic, this triple pandemic. And we, you know, our hearts, we've been seeing these amazing testimonies. I mean, it's been, there's one, a woman who eliminated a, a seven plus centimeter fiber during quarantine on our program, which is like the size of a large apple. That was phenomenal, right? And a lot of babies born, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, but the biggest thing for us is we were, so, we're dealing with women in an economic crisis, women dealing with the systemic racism, women dealing with the health, health pandemic. And we wanted to, A, we wanted to improve the products, improve, improve our detoxes, which is still, which was so amazing. And we wanted to make the luxury, the prices a luxury experience at an everyday price. And we just felt like, you know, we're so passionate about this. We're just gonna do this together. So mm -hmm. we literally revamped everything we created. Um, we improved our formulas. Dr. Amun is an herbalist, is a naturopathic doctor. He reformulated all of our formulas and to make them better. Cause we were like, 
it's great that we've had success, but we want to make them better right. and we want to make them affordable at the same time. Because usually when you make them better, you make them more expensive. We're like, no, we want to make them better and we want to make them more affordable. We streamline processes. And, you know, it's funny because you mentioned Ashanti, who's phenomenal. She literally, she, you know, Envy got me on the, he was like, look, Ashanti needs you. <laughs> and she was like, yes, I need something. He said, she's been celebrating her birthday a little too long. <laughs> And, and it was before she got COVID and was preparing for verses. As time would have it, you know, we connected like right before then. And she was so like committed to wellness. She was like, I just want to get well. You know, I just want to be healthy, really, really healthy. And she was like carrying her cereal with, you know, because she did, she did that detox um, protein bowl. That's a cereal, which is my favorite thing. I eat it every day. I promise y'all it's in the free detox. You will love it. She took it with her, like wherever she was going. Right. And she was like, this is so easy and delicious. And um, what was funny about it is we saw that, you know, when we look at how easy, when, it, when people who are so busy and celebrities, whatever, are doing it, I'm like, you can do this. If they can walk around with this and value their health above this, I'm telling you, you can do this. Angela's about to start her detox now. She's like, she's doing it with another um a producer who she just lost eight pounds and like like she hasn't even finished it she's like this is this is real this really works yeah. and it's the weight is, is about inflammation that's what i tell people it's not mm -hmm. just about your weight it's about inflammation and toxicity so that's the big news over there we we are actually launching a, a um our first prenatal supplement which we are so excited about it is coming with a free meal plan and of course, we have our, our balance system, which is to help women to eliminate, um, to heal and reverse and prevent fibroids, endometriosis, cysts, um, as well as infertility. And, and it's been just an honor, honor to wow. help um, people to pursue to, to regulate their blood pressure. So we're going to get you, we're, we're going to get you our new heart formula. We're literally it's coming out. It's coming out in like in a few weeks. So by the time this airs, I'm sure it'll be out, but I'm going to, you're going to get your own bottle. And your it. meal plan. I love it. I love it. About that. Oh, Definitely. yeah. It's all about life and love, you know, and I, I think this is great. Congratulations to both of you all. Thank it's you. such exciting news. Thank and you. I look forward to hearing more and more about Release the Pressure campaign, about things that you're doing to Keisha White, because this is just a consultant. So I know that that means you got other <laughs> things going on, too. Girl. And Girl, Coach Jesse Thompson, know. yes, the, the detox. Now, for people who want more information, all they have to do is just go to the detoxnow.com um, yes, and, and yes. get more information if, because if you break it down. Consult, yeah, the other thing is I, I want people to know that they, there's support. Like there's, we have three weekly group consults for people like, well, I don't have any, well, we have a free consult every, every week. We have a group consult that happens via Zoom. You can have your case reviewed and our team will look at it. Our, our, our administrator looks at it and goes through everything with you and says what we recommend based on your budget. So you say, look, I need to start with free. Okay, this is what you're going to start with. All right. Two, look, I need an emergency intervention right now. Okay, this is what you're going to start with. Right. And then we have private consults. So you can book with me. You can be, book me or you can book um, Dr. Amun. And we have a, literally a resource page that is just free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, you we do. want people to know there is nothing, you know, your health there's nothing more valuable because without it, you can't fulfill your purpose here on this earth. Enough said. There's nothing else to say, you know? <laughs> well, thank you, ladies. And I'm Coach yeah. Jesse on IG, please. Coach yes, G -E -S 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 I E on IG. And Takesha White is follow Takesha, T-A-K-E-E-S-H-A W-H-I-T-E. And I'm Kelly Kincaid. <laughs> thank you for watching and listening to First Day with Kelly Kincaid. See you next time. Oh,